grandson like he will be i'm just taking a picture <laughs> so he'll be he'll be like drinking most of the time how old is he So did you did you make the boat uh, with uh, uh, wood or uh, steel or like the boat, like all the equipment, like when you are buying, no one can object that. No, no, no. No, like the, when you when you prepare the boat, right? You know, yeah. like yeah. when you when you manufacture your boat to um, to to travel from Vietnam to Thailand, right? When you when you are going for the equipment to buy to buy to make the boat, right? No one stop you or no one know about it. So no one knows, like when you buy the steel, they don't know. When you buy the wood, they don't know that you are making the boat. Everything should be a secret. You cannot let them go. Uh, and see, you know, once sometime I go to buy the gasoline, I have to go at 12 o'clock at midnight. To buy the gasoline? Somebody I know can sell it to me and have to grow the little boat see them in a very deserted canal, in the canal, and to transport the can by can of gasoline to my little boat, and I bring it back. I, I, I hide my boat in a secret place. Okay. Then you so have the, to the, the guy who sold you the gasoline, did they know that you are you are will be going away? They don't. They don't care. Pay them more than. The, they can sell, like it's sell five dollars a dollar. Pay them ten dollars. The, pol the police doesn't know about them. No. You think they 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 sell it at uh, their factory? They have a factory huh. uh, to uh, do something. You know, you have business, so they can buy the gas, and you okay. don't use it up. You sell it at double price. So they make more money out of yeah. the out of the gas <laughs> and then the business. Yeah. In the black market, okay. everywhere, yeah. Okay, you okay. have to do everything in secret. That's nice. If they, they, the communist police, they know it, they, they confiscated everything. They put you in jail for no reason, no trial. They have no law. Eh? They changed the name of the city, right? Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah, yeah. What was it earlier? The name of their leader. Name yeah, the, but yeah. it's in South Vietnam or it is in it is it in North North Vietnam? In North. The Ho Ho Chi Minh City. Yeah. In the, in um, the, no, he he's a guy from the north, but yeah. they, they take the, the the south. They change the Saigon name into the Ho Chi Minh. Yeah. Right. Into the communist leader. Yeah. So it's in the south, right? Yeah. Now it's the capital, right? The it's capital. the biggest city. But, but nobody want to call that name. It is oh. still called Saigon. Oh, is it? <laughs> yeah. Even though, you know, Vietnamese in here, California, they have a little Saigon. Uh, yeah, the town, we call it little Saigon. We love the, the old name. Uh, we, we hate the, the, the Ho Chi Minh name. He's a communist. What, it, was, what was he? Is he, is he? Was he in the military or is he a professor or something like that? No. He's a guy who go abroad, you know, who, who do uh, bring the communism from uh, Russia, then go to apply to Vietnam, and stupid people listen to them. But now, them. but now, like Vietnam, Vietnam is a, it's not it's a communist country, or yeah, the whole country now. 
But it's a small country and very uh, I don't know, weak, weak country because of China now, you know, make a lot of, uh, put a lot of pressure in Vietnam now. Vietnam Communist doesn't want to, to say anything, they cannot resist it. China, China's big, big country. Big, most, because, of your, most of your trade is with uh, China. Yeah, most of them are communist, but they try to invade Vietnam. China tried to invade Vietnam. Oh, they tried? Yeah, they tried. They, 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 they invade little, little, little. They, so they are taking, they are invading, they are taking yes. out some parts. Yeah, already the land before 1979, they uh -huh. take part of the country. Now they take the sea and all the islands on the Vietnam Sea. The first thing they, they they can do is like they say that this is a distributed land and then after some time they'll with the power they'll occupy that right? Yeah. Now they want all kind of you know uh, uh, oil oil of uh, in, in the sea in this uh, they call it uh, the uh, South Sea whatever the name I I don't remember but they want to take the whole sea. Some of them belong to Philippines, some of them belong to uh, Korea, some of them belong to uh, Taiwan, some belong to Malaysia, some belong to Vietnam. In the but, sea? Yeah, in the sea, part of the sea. Islands, there are too many islands along the sea. But China, now they want to take all of them. They declare the whole sea that belong to them. And they resist, you know, they resist. But all the countries are small country. Japan too, a small country they cannot fight. China. Yeah, they, they, they cannot fight back to them. So uh, still, we don't know what happened. The food wise, like, is Vietnamese like it's the same thing or different? Like food wise, how different is it? See, if I go to a uh, Vietnamese place or a Chinese place, I can't figure out a lot of difference. China is a lot bigger. No, food wise, food. Food, yeah, different. Very Some of them close, close. They are but because th Thai, Thai, Thai food is totally different to Chinese food. Right, Thai is very, very spicy. Yeah, Thai food is yeah. you know like a little bit like Indian food. Thai, yeah, close to Indian. Food. You know, curry like curry and uh, pepper. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know, it was under uh, Hindu Hindu rulers earlier, Thailand. Yeah. It was uh, Thailand, uh, Indonesia, they're all under uh, Hindu kings. Hindu kings ruled Thailand and Indonesia earlier. Yeah. China is a uh, different. But some of them close to Vietnam food, but Vietnam is totally different about the so, fish sauce. You know fish sauce? Yeah. Vietnam is the only one country eats fish sauce. So, do, do people travel from Vietnam to India to, to see the Buddhist place, Bodh Gaya and everything? Do they travel to India and then to visit Bodh Gaya? You know Bodh Gaya, right? You yeah, know, yeah. Buddha, where Buddha, you know, like uh, meditated, uh, meditated. Okay, so do people come to Nepal and uh, India to visit those places as a religious thing? Do people from Vietnam, yeah. I don't know, maybe people from Vietnam uh, have uh, visited India. My son have to... Uh, to son, see the Buddhist, yeah, Buddhist Gaya. Yeah. My son been in India like five, six years ago. He go from here to India. He stayed there like a month or so. He was in the seminary. He was want to become a priest. Catholic, the Catholic priest. Okay, okay. He, wanted to be, he wanted to become a Catholic yeah, priest, he, okay. He, yeah, that time he was in a seminary. He, uh, he prepared to be a priest. So the seminary sent him to India to do some, uh, like a reporter, to do some, uh, uh, write some story and make some uh, movie. Because he worked for the television. And he, uh, he stayed there for month or so. And I asked him, he said, very poor, a lot of people, poor people. And he showed me the, the river, I don't know what to name the river. Ganga? Yeah. Every dead body in there. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Is that true? Oh yeah. They they take the the water to wash it, but uh, leave everything. And the dead people in the water do the same. Yeah. same they say they think that it's uh, good. I don't know. Maybe the, it's a cultural thing. Replic- Get to like a, a sickness counter just from that. Maybe you, you know, usually they burn the body in India, or yeah. uh, they they you know, like they they dig up or like they dig them in the earth you know, under the body. And, um, some place they just put the dead body there and all the the, the order. Do you you don't see that uh, like you don't see? Did he saw people or did he saw dead bodies in the river? in the movie no. oh, in the movie maybe you know like but usually you know like if it is an unknown uh, unknown person you know they might get they might die or and then they might have left them in the river but it's not all you, know, you don't see that like the police will you know, take out the body if someone sees that they take it out and i see if they burn them you know they burn them that's okay but but they don't burn them they put on a little raffle and they so get all outside in the water. Okay, what do uh, what do they do in Vietnam? Like, do they do they burn them or yeah. do they? They burn. They burn. Yeah, most most of them uh, burn. Uh, later now, they they, uh, they burn. They burn. They they they, don't they have burn the electric no machines. Yeah. Right? Yeah, they burn them. But before they bury, most of them bury. They believe, you know, when you die and the next next life. You can revive again, you know, you know uh, Buddhist. So you can so come back to your when, life. When did when did like Christianity came to Vietnam? So your grandfather, great grandfather, everyone is a Christian or were the Buddhist? Yeah, turned? I am Christian, but uh, a couple of centuries ago, when people come from uh, Europe, from Spain, all the uh, the priests come over. Was it under British rule or Spain? Spanish rule? Spain, mostly from Spain, Europe to... I think that part is some, a little bit uh, shared between Spanish and Portugal, right? Portuguese. Yeah. And, the, and the Buddhist is from China. All the Buddhists. Yeah, the, the China got the Buddhist from India, right? And the China sent it to Vietnam. Okay. And they, they changed it. They changed it. not not pure anymore. They changed the way the Buddhist and so uh, some people try to criticize that's not the pure Buddhist from India. They change it the way they want. In India, there is no Buddhist now. You know, like before, uh, before AD, you know, before I think of 300 BC. Uh, around that time, there was a lot of Buddhists, and then um, uh, you know, like some kings who are in Hindus, and uh, and then they 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 fought uh, you know, a lot. To bring back Hinduism, and it was revived back. I don't know. I think 500 uh, AD. And then uh, Islam. Islam came around 1300. I I see all the religions are good, but the only thing I, I dislike, you know, it's like a you are religion and you you. Represent religion to kill people. That I don't like. What? What? You to kill people? Oh, you use yeah. your religion yeah. to kill people? To kill people. Yeah. Yes, that I don't like. Right? Yeah. Any religion I respect. But don't. Yeah, you know, like we don't have to respect each and everything. You know, like in Hinduism, you have caste system. And, uh, you know, like they, 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 they see different people differently. So, you know. Yeah. I, I agree with you, but if you, you know about caste system, you, in you, you believe uh, you believe in uh, Buddhist, right? You Buddhist, okay, uh, fine, no problem. Uh, I believe in Christian, I believe that, fine, no problem. You you keep your religion, I keep my religion. Why you and me fight and I try to kill you because of your religion or my religion? You try to kill me, just wrong, right? Okay, yeah. And I think nowadays, no one is actually, uh, yeah. You, you still have the you know, fighting on religion and now with Islam and uh, Christianity are on a fight a little bit. Because a lot of people are so extremist, extreme. They say only my religion 
is either right, yours is wrong, just wrong, right? Yeah. I don't say yours wrong or mine right, okay? If you believe, okay, go your way. I believe it, I go my way. I don't criticize yours, you don't criticize mine. But all the religion is good. When you, you name your religion to kill people, and they say you kill people, you put the bomb and you you suicide yourself to kill people when you go to, to, to the paradise. No. <laughs> That's wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, in Sri Lanka, there is still Buddhism. Yeah. I think Sri Lanka is the most, like, nation with the biggest population of Buddhists. I think in Cambodia, Lagos too, right? Yeah. Thailand. If you are not religion, you have no religion at all, but you live in peace, you love people, you don't kill people, you don't do anything wrong. That's a good religion too, even you don't have religion, right? But people say, I am this kind, I am not a kind of religion, and my religion... You need a religion to pass on some values, I know, you know, yeah. because you know you have to follow something, you know, like... Yeah, right. uh, there are many things... You know, uh, some, some people, they don't only re re believe on God. They say, yeah, yeah. that's it, God. The but, re religion is will be should be useful, you know, like will be useful um, because you have to have some customs. You know, you cannot go to a marriage uh, like if there is no religion. One guy will come in shorts, one guy one guy will come in a beach wear to the marriage, and one guy will come in a suit. Yeah, right. And then one people dress differently, so that's why you need, you know, in order to pass on something, you know, like you need to have a religion. You don't have to believe in God, but you know you have to follow some customs and. You know. But you know, communists have no religion. They deny. They deny. They yeah. deny. But how how do they marry? You know, like do they do they follow some customs in marrying, or how what how does it happen in China? No, they don't believe nothing. No family, no country, no religion. They are all one group. They said that, but I. I see, that's so stupid. But I think they have the family too, right? They deny family too, but they have family. But they, have, they don't care about their family. Their party is a super... That's hard, you know, a hard temperament. Because man by nature is selfish. You cannot be a selfless person and then do everything for the country or for the society, right? Them, but after Ho Chi Minh, they bring their father to to try to kill in front of all these people. Say, my father is a rich man. They, they, you know, they take all the uh, money from the poor. So now he deserves to be die. Let people grow rock to him. Sentence his old father. They have no family. Your father, you killed. You let people kill him. You sentence them. You say he's a guilty. He's what? He's guilty. Okay. Crime, criminal. So let people throw not rock to them to kill. How did they insult your father? How did they insult your father? What did they say? Said, you what, you what, said your father died, right? You, you, your father committed suicide, right? He killed himself. No, but how? how, how why did they insult him? They insult him. They swear at him. My father is uh, 60 years old. They, all the kids around 16 should they put the rifle on my head and say, call my father that kind of, you know, like an impolite. <laughs> Police officers. Oh, your father was a police officer? Yeah, the high ranking. It's a lot, you know, and he, he cannot afford that. He killed himself. How did he kill He shot no, himself? He hanged himself. The, the night, you know, the, during the day, it's that night he, he hanged. We don't know. I was in jail. <laughs> There might be a lot of people in the jail, right? At that time, 
all the nationalists? It depends on how, how high you rank. If you are like a soldier, they just take you. Three days. Oh, is it? Only three days. Because you say, you know, soldier, no, no, no big deal. And if you are a non um, officer, they uh, take you like a week. After that, what they will do? Like, the, if they leave the soldier, right? He will go back and then he will fight again, right? They say because the soldier listen to the officer. Okay. They kill because you are the officer, you kill them to, to, to kill. They kill. They not kill them. They not criminal. And you are the officer. You are, your, your crime is bigger. The, the, the higher rank is the bigger crime. Anything about something I, I see, that's, that's right. You say they don't care about one officer, uh, about 100 soldiers, they don't care. But, but they care about one officer. Because the officers are the leader. They can tell those people to do. Without the officer or the soldier, like the stick without the head or the train without the engine. Right? One so, hundred, did, did they did they harm you like while you are in jail? Did they beat you? Uh, if you you don't listen to them, otherwise they make you work very hard. They don't feed you good. They give you some rice, make you hungry. Okay, and then they make you work very hard. What what do they do? Like they go to the jungle, cut the tree, and do the grow all the rice and whatever they want you to do and clear the the areas. With View house for them, whatever, like free labor. Yeah. They don't pay you nothing. And if you, you don't listen to them, beat them, beat them, even they, they can kill you. So you are 75 now? 74 or 75? 75. And they have no law, no law, no sense. They want to kill you, they kill you. So you, you spent three days in the in the river or how many days? Me? Yeah, in the, like from Vietnam to Thailand. Oh, three days, three nights. I go straight. It's smaller than this bus. How much, how much gas it took? How, how many liters? I don't know, not much, but I have a lot left. You know, when I come to Thailand, I have a lot of, of uh, fuel lot left. I got two, two barrels, and I got uh, 50 gallons, big barrel like that. I have two of them. But I come to Thailand, I still have one gallon full, and half of them. A lot left. <laughs> I'm afraid, I don't know, I'm afraid that I don't have enough. Oil. Okay, if you don't have enough, what was your plan? Like, if you are, if you are, if you would be running out of gas, what was the plan? We don't know. It's just like, a, you know, you, you risk it, like you gamble. You don't know anything, yeah? If, uh, once way, you win, one way you lose. You, you die, right? Yeah. So that's a big game I play. <laughs> So your friend whom you brought him here, you meet him often, like every month or? Yeah, he lives in uh, San Diego. We, we uh, talk to each other every uh, like a couple of days on the email. How long did you spend in the jail? On uh, computer? No, how long did you spend in the jail? In the jail? How many years were you put in the jail? In the jail, like jail, yeah. <laughs> oh, almost two years. Two years. Maybe my wife got a lot of money, bribe them, you know. Like, yeah. You you brought you you paid a lot of money to the communists and then my wife. Yeah. Oh, your wife. 